right, well really quick, I wanted to make a, a quick video. I was contacted by a company, Dr. Meter, uh, and asked if I would do a review on their trail camera. This is the model DL506, waterproof, night vision, supports SD cards, digital camera, digital video. I'll put up here uh, an image of some of the specs of the camera. On the side of the box here, it has all the specs. So basically, I'm just gonna do an unboxing and take a look at what's in here, and then uh, put it out in the field, see how it performs. So it looks like it comes with some mounting hardware. If you wanna permanently mount it somewhere, you have that op option. If you want to mount it on a building, um, maybe a, a shed or a workshop, uh, mount it to a post, something like that. There's your uh, strap. It does run off eight AA batteries. So we need to insert the SD card. So I just turned off that beeping noise. Okay. So it looks like the camera's ready to go. Those will grip into the tree pretty good. I don't see a place where you can put a Cobra cable or anything like that. I do have some small diameter cable that I attach my trail cameras to the tree with. It will slide through here. Okay, well there you go. That's the initial unboxing first impressions. I'll get this camera put out and uh, hopefully we'll have some deer activity. We'll be able to see the quality of the pictures. All right, just a full disclosure. Um, I did not purchase this camera from Dr. Meter. Uh, they contacted me and asked if I would be willing to do a review of the camera. I told them I would be willing to do that. Uh, I don't know anyone that works for this company and uh, I did not purchase this camera. So I uh, just wanted to give a full disclosure on that. Overall, I felt the picture quality was pretty nice. However, I was not very impressed with the audio of the Dr. Meter camera. Even in post, with the volume all the way up, you couldn't hear anything. So just to follow up on the Dr. Meter trail camera, on Amazon, uh, it's only $59.99. Uh, I don't know what it is if you go to their website, but 
For that price point, I think that the video quality and the picture quality are pretty good. It seemed to perform pretty well. Unfortunately, uh, it's the end of deer season. Um, there's been a lot of pressure in the public lands that I've had the camera on. I've actually moved the camera to, I think, three or four different uh, locations. Uh, I put them up over some good looking deer sign. And unfortunately, uh, I only had those three does come through about 30 minutes after I set the camera up. Uh, other than that, uh, I did get images of me setting the camera up and leaving, as well as me approaching the camera on my way to pick the camera up. I did have two times where I approached the camera and did not get pictures uh, or video. So I don't know uh, what the reason was, if it was a trigger issue, um, if it was a sensor issue. There, the one time it had recently snowed and there was a little bit of snow uh, on top of the camera as well as uh, I think one or two of the lenses um, had a little bit of snow blown in them, um, but they weren't completely covered. Um, but there were two times where I didn't get any pictures or video at all uh, when I approached the camera and I walked straight up in front of it. Other than that, on all of the other approaches and all the other times I set the camera up and walked away, I did get footage. The functionality, it was really easy to operate. Um, I do wish that you could secure this door uh, with a lock. That way uh, you could eliminate people from stealing your SD card. Uh, but most of the cameras at this price point, uh, that's not an option. So it's no different than any other camera. The other thing I like about this camera is it's really easy to change the batteries. You push this button here and your battery tray drops down. You can just pull it out, swap out your batteries, put your tray back in, and it locks in place, and you're all set. Some of the other um, cameras that are in this price point, it's kind of difficult to change the batteries. In this camera, you have to drop this battery compartment door, and then all of your batteries fall out. With the Dr. Meter, you can easily change your batteries without having to take the camera down off the tree. So here are a couple pictures and videos from another camera of mine that's in the same price point. Uh, I'm just putting this up here to show you the comparison between the two. As you can see, the Dr. Meter uh, videos and pictures have pretty decent quality. Overall, it was really easy to operate and I think it did really well for the price point. So I'm gonna drop a link down below if you're interested in this camera. As far as I'm concerned, I would recommend it. It, it did the job uh, just as equal as some of my other cameras that are in that same price point.